attacking Senate Majority Leader Jack Woodfur for not living in his district. It is a requirement for state lawmakers under Iowa law. Now, to prove he does live within his district, Senator Whitfer released bills from his condo in Grimes showing he is using water. Mm -hmm. KCRG TV9 investigative reporter Ethan Stein is joining us in the studio. And so why is the senator now sharing his own condo water bills with you? Well, think about water. It's something we use every day, whether you're flushing the toilet or brushing your teeth or just having a yeah. cup of it. Our KCRG TV9 I9 investigative team and KCCI investigates reported that Senator Whitfer moved from a home in Ankeny to a condo in Grimes two months ago. But utility records were received showed the condo didn't use any water since around February. We got those records after asking the private company for them. Whitfer did not respond to our invitation for an interview for our story. After that story aired, though, he did release his, release his utility bill to prove that he does live there, showing the condo did use water. In one month, the total charge for water usage was about $10. According to his voter registration form, Whitfer moved into the apartment August 8th. Two days later, the meter was read. It shows there was no usage and a $0 charge. The same result happened in September, and now this Newly released bill for October, which a spokesperson handed out, shows he did use water. It resulted in a charge of $9.45. Our partners in Des Moines KCCI knocked on Senator Whitford's door in Grimes. No one answered. They also knocked on his door in Ankeny, but again, no answer. There were packages addressed to the senator outside that door. County records show that property in Ankeny is eligible for a homestead tax credit. That's for people who own and occupy the property. Records show Whitver owns both properties. State law requires county auditors assume voter registrations are correct, and they don't have the resources to then go out and check them. Why not check? Why not check? Why not check? Uh, because it, it, I think it would just be an impossibility to check every one of those voter registrations as they, as they come in. The Secretary of State's office says county auditors can't verify if candidates for office are really living where they say they are because then it would target those running for office rather than apply the law equally to everyone. A voter did file a challenge to Senator Whitver's voter registration earlier this year. Panel dismissed the challenge, meaning he could run, but somebody could still challenge the registration with evidence we found, like the water bill. Whitfer's complaint is, is compliant with state law, again, because county auditors have to assume he's telling the truth. He's not the only candidate doing something like this. Candidates are known to move after redistricting. For example, we found a Democrat in Burlington who is running from a different address than he mm. in, was in 2020, but he does own that property. We're still waiting for records to see when that change happened. All right, Ethan, thanks so much. They can catch the full story right now online. Yes, right now under the investigations tabs on KCRG.com. Thank you.